Hello, we are here to talk about the First Amendment. The First Amendment protects us five basic rights, freedom of religion, freedom of speech, freedom of press, right to assemble, and the right to petition. Let's move on to freedom of religion. What does this mean exactly? What this means is under the, our Constitution, we have the right to practice whatever religion we want as long as it doesn't abuse anybody else's rights. Therefore, you have the right to be a Catholic, a Christian, a Hindu, a Muslim, whatever religion, as long as your religion does not violate somebody else's rights. Right to assemble. Um, you have the right to assemble to, to people together to protest something, the right to press. The uh, freedom of press, that means that the, um, the press should be able to write the truth about anything, including politicians and what they are doing, without fear of the penalty of being thrown in jail or being fined. So the freedom of the press is a very big part of our First Amendment. The next one is freedom of petition, allows you to petition for change. So it allows you to make ask for changes in your, in your uh, country. And lastly, freedom of speech. Freedom of speech, once again, is similar to freedom of religion, allows you to speak with your mind, but more, most importantly, that speech cannot interfere with somebody's rights. So if you are in a crowded movie theater and you think it's funny to yell, fire, fire, and people uh, start running to the exits and somebody gets hurt, you will be responsible even though it was just speech. One of the quick ways to be able to remember the First Amendment rights is RAPS, R-A-P-P-S, Religion, Assembly, Press, Petition, and Speech. Thank you.